Hey guys, we're on way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. And we're back with Breaking Bad. Last time on Breaking Bad, Gus looked around. There's a car bomb. Left. <laughs> there is, in fact, a car bomb. He, yeah, it appeared to be, uh, he put a bomb on Gus's car. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gus walked over. Gus he went around. to the hospital Didn't to wanna... talk to Jesse to get him back to cooking because he accidentally poisoned his, um... He didn't accidentally. Yeah, he Gus very purposefully true. poisoned <laughs> Brock. Yes. Yeah. Which, we had an amazing scene between Jesse and Walt based on thinking Walt poisoned Brock, which is really good. I love that scene. Um, and then we also have everyone else, uh, Hank and Skyler and Marie and all them, under witness protection because they think there's a hit coming from the cartel. It's, it's just protection. <laughs> yeah, protection. <is> better. <clears throat> um, police protection. Yes. Um, besides that... This show's crazy. Protective custody. I think that's it. Like, and maybe we saw the last of Saul. Maybe. Maybe. He peeled out of town after he gave I mean, Jesse his money. We haven't seen him leave, but he yeah. specified that he was going to be a, a fart in the wind or something. Yeah. Like he went to go star on his own show. Yeah. Sure. And told Jesse to put in a good word with him with Gus. This show's crazy. Like, this and Attack on Titan are the two shows where I feel safe for no one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone could die at any time. You have no idea. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see who dies or doesn't die this time. Well, yeah. I mean, he did say they're, they're common as fuck. <coughs> oh. But I think we're led to believe <coughs> that Walt said the one thing he'd never do is use children. But maybe he had to stoop down to Gus's level in order to beat Gus. Maybe. And he had to turn Jesse on Gus in order to get it to work out. Yep. Where'd the cigarette go? That's the only, that's the only question I think yeah. we still have left was like, if he had that cigarette, he said he had it that morning, so he knows Brock didn't take the cigarette. He said he thought before that like he got patted down by Saul's guy and that he took it then. But then Walt also said that maybe he, it got taken from his locker by Tyrus. Right. But we never saw it. Yeah. So I wonder where that one went if Walt did get a hold of it or what. Maybe he just destroyed it. I mean, he couldn't risk Jesse finding it. So Gus didn't have to help him at all for the rice and poison thing. It was actually a tox, a tox screen that came back negative for it. Because originally I was like, oh, maybe Gus, he's high up on the hospital, best doctors, whatever. Yeah. He can handle it so it doesn't look like anything happened, you know? Sure. Man. Dude, Walt, I mean, he's doing things. Like, okay, so if, if he poisoned a the kid, there's him using kids, which him and Jesse were against before, or at least Jesse was really against. Yeah. I would assume Walt was against that, especially the way he kind of portrayed that a couple scenes, a couple, uh, what, episodes back? One episode yeah. back. But then in this episode also, he called the old lady next door to come and <laughs> check, like putting just random person in danger. Just got out his to, house. To save himself, you know? Like those are things of self-preservation over like good, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a good person wouldn't, to endanger someone else. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess the people probably aren't going to shoot anyone that comes into that house. Because it's just... I mean, like, just anybody? Yeah. Like, if the mailman walked in, they wouldn't just shoot the mailman. <laughs> yeah. But if Walt walked in, they'd probably kill Walt. Right. They're they're professionals. They, they do their job, and they don't cause collateral damage, right? I mean, it was definitely still a risk, but I think it was a low risk it was, that she was going to... Die. Yeah. yeah, I think it was much lower risk that she die than he die. Well, giving it if it's a common thing that kids eat and whatnot, it's it's also a lower risk idea that you're doing to a kid that hopefully they'd be, they'd look into. You know, kids are known to eat these berries every once in a while. Maybe he ate this berry and got and he sick. He was like a little older than maybe a kid would just eat a random berry, but. but yeah, know, if it's common enough, then hopefully they look into it and stuff too. But yeah. 
I mean, if he's like, what, 10 or 12 or something like that, he's always lived in town, you know, sees his flower, berries, like, oh, I, berries are delicious. They taste sweet. Man, remember, was it last episode, the episode before, whenever we had Walt and he's sitting there spinning the gun and it keeps pointing at him. And he spun it the one time and it pointed that way and then it just kind of panned away and we're like, the hell are we looking at? Yeah. <laughs> and like, it, it panned over yeah, to that, that flower, flower area, you know? But it didn't like zoom in on the flower, it just panned that way. But originally when I watched him, like, what? I'm like looking around like, should I be seeing something? So that's yeah. when he got the idea? Maybe, yeah. Or maybe I just don't that's... Know how he managed to poison Brock with it, you know? Maybe that's when he decided to. You know? It's like spinning the gun. Well, should I die? Should I risk myself? And it spun his way like two or three times and it spun the, the flower away. It's like, maybe I should. Maybe I should risk Brock to save myself. I mean, just pointing at it and then him thinking about what the lily of the valley does and everything could have, yes, yeah, spurred the idea versus him charging in head first. Then it just caused a chain of events. Ah, that was a great scene at the the home with yeah. us and the bell. With Hector? Mm-hmm. Dude, the, the thing of, like, last time to look at me, and I'm looking away, and then I'm finally looking at him, and there's, like, this, there's, like, a sadness, like, a scared, and then it just turned into, like, that angry the look. Like, rage. There's, there's no words. There's no nothing. It was just that that old man's, you know, He's got facial, really good expression. facial expressions. And then him dinging that bell. And it sounded different. It was like, tonk, 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 tonk. Instead of ding, yeah. ding, yeah. tonk, tonk, tonk. <laughs> ah. So he had the... Uh, it's so the good. PTT button, the push to talk button underneath the bell, I guess. Or he wired it up differently, since it was going to be right there. But yeah, and then just the shock on Gus's face, and then, man, it really got me him walking out. Yeah. Like, Holy shit. How did he live? How did he live? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was like the fucking T eight hundred, but Dude, that... it wasn't. <laughs> It was like no eye. There was bone. There was it was crazy looking. It was worse worse than Harvey Dent. We haven't. It was, yeah, it was worse than Harvey Dent. We haven't Much. seen like that gore in the show since the turtle. Now I was thinking the bathtub scene in Jesse's oh. place. Bathtub scene. Yeah, well, when it melts through the floor and the gore uh. and viscera goes everywhere. Well, yeah, I mean that was pretty bad. But what about the uh, what about the turtle and stuff yeah. and the body parts all over and the head on the turtle and everything blew up and people were like, ah, Tortuga. Like, yeah, remember that? No, I mean it scarred Hank for yeah. such a long time. That was season two. Sure. <sighs> it uses it rarely though. But when it does, it makes a big impact. Yes, it does. Man, where where are we gonna go from here? That's what I was gonna say. So they've they took out the lab, Gus. Like most of his lackeys. Yep. Uh, Mike is probably still alive. Yeah, right? yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's probably still in Mexico, in Mexico or whatever. Right? <laughs> so, I mean, do... I mean, if it ended here, I'd be like, man. Like, like I, I could see it just end here and it's done, you know? Sure. He did that. Like, where's he go next? Like, you can kind of think about it. Like, does he continue to do meth and stuff? Does he go back to more of a normal life? Like, he defeated Gus. The cartel's gone because Gus already killed them. You know, it kind of opens a lot of doors to where, like, if it just ended now and it's and Walt's like, I won, all right. Like, I can see that being the end. Yeah. But I know it's not the end. No. So, like, well, does he continue? He has to continue into the meth, or does he... Because he said, I won, and he didn't say, like, we made it or we survived or something, I feel like he's going to take over Gus's thing. Or he's going to at least go into that direction. I don't know, it's so dangerous with all the stuff that Hank's been onto already, but I mean, if he can cut ties enough, maybe it can work out. But the, I mean, the I-1 thing too was also the danger that he had on Walt and then the people who were endangering Walt and his family. Like, you know, that was the the face-off of it, right? Was yeah them going against each other where it's Walt or Gus. So, I don't know. I mean... I'm just I'm trying to think of like, do we go a route where they are like what what kind of lab do they get? How much money do they have left? Can they make another lab somewhere? Do they go that route? Can they find Gus's stash? Of money? Yeah. 
I mean, he probably has it wrapped up in all Assets. kinds of, yeah. I mean, Los Pollo Mano and all other kinds of things that it'd be hard for them to get access to it. Yeah. Versus, like, in a crawl space. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping Jesse still gets to be with Andrea and Brock, especially since it was, like, this common poison berry thing that... And he said, like, Andrea's waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for it to be, like, a rice and poison. You knew, like, <laughs> I, don't, we, I don't want you anywhere near my son kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, if this happened once, it could happen again. But, uh... I, I love that line, though, when you were talking about that. Like, I love, like, Skylar talking on the phone and being like, was this you, Walt? And then his just, it's just, I want. And he just hangs out. That's it. That's all he gives. Yep. We're safe. Man. Like, think about it. Like, if, if, if Walt continues, like, what's the... Like, we've always had kind of a villain character, right? Like, we had Tuco... Mm-hmm. And then we kind of grew into having Gus as like the villain after kind of getting like before we were kind of like oh good Gus we got Gus he's helping us because we still had the uh, the brothers yeah the, right the, the assassin dudes so like oh we're scared of them and then we got rid of them and then we're like man Gus is scary and then Gus turned into more of a villain for Walt so like if Walt does continue does the villain become like Hank for Walt I mean. In all seriousness, Walt, I suppose, would be the villain, you know what yeah. I mean? But we're following him, so, like, <laughs> yeah. who's the antagonist for him? I would guess it's Hank. Or do we get introduced to another, like, more cartel? Like, I think they killed, like, most cartel. I don't imagine the cartel's going to be around. No. Like, causing stuff in the U.S. for a little while. Like, until they kind of get their shit together, yeah. you know? Um, I think Walt's pretty much kind of free range. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I feel like it would have to be the DEA. Or... Does it turn to, like, Skylar? Like, what does Skylar think about what happened in her husband killing another man? Three men. Yeah, is she okay with that because... <laughs> now the family is safe. Because he saved the family? Or is she not because you know, that's not who she married and she doesn't want to be with a murderer? And, I mean, he killed other guys, too. Yeah. yeah. But I would say, like, I guess if you want to look at it this so way, five too, guys this he convinced this old guy for revenge to kill Gus. He didn't kill Gus. He supplied a bomb, I guess. Yeah. But he still walked in, shot two guys, killed them, burned them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, even if they were, like, somehow still alive, he just burned them up down in there. It, it's, like, it's dangerous, too, with that bomb. Like, how did he know it was exactly enough to be contained in that room? Like, what if a nurse had walked in? Oh, you know? no, yeah, there's tons of variables that could have caused issues. But, I mean... Like, what? As I was saying, like, Walt's looking at things much more, like, self-preservation, not about, like individual people you know a bomb like you can't control who all it hurts you just got to make sure the target you want is within range of that bomb which he knew it would be being with Hector but you could have had a nurse in there you could have had someone outside the window mm-hmm. and Brock could have died yeah it's possible now he's definitely getting much more dangerous like, and that's why like looking at next season like, villain-wise, like, sure, Walt's the villain. But, like, I imagine we still follow Walt. And who is he against? Yeah. Or does it change up and now, like, Walt's getting too bad? And Jesse has to, like, <laughs> rein him like, in? Yeah, we're focusing more on, like, like Jesse's our protagonist, now Walt's the antagonist, and they finally have split apart or something. Or it's like Jesse and Mike versus Walt? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Walt's got some brains, but he's, I don't know. He's starting to get scary. Yeah. How far will he go for his family, but then how much further does he keep going? Yeah. For himself. Yeah. Like, if he stopped here and then focused on the family, we've got a car wash now, we'll make money with the car wash, we have a little bit left over, we don't have to run anymore, let's just get back to a normal life. Yeah. Great time to start a normal life again, right? But I don't know if that's what he's going to do. I think he's going to. Like, Jesse, I think, is a great time for him to start a normal life now, too, with Andrea and Brock, take things back to normal, no fear of impending doom from Gus or anything, (laughs) from the cartel. No living like every day is your last. Yeah. Like, jump into the next season, go good. But I don't think that's how it's going to go, because it's called Breaking Bad. I'm excited, though, wherever it does go. Yeah. It's been amazing so far. It's been incredible. I really, Definitely one of my favorite shows. Yeah. The series has been really good. 
I, I'm glad I didn't finish the series back when I watched it before. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was really into it back then and stuff, but then I just started watching other things because Melanie wasn't too into it. But It's, it's a very heavy show at times. Yeah. But it's, it's fun. It's a great story. I love the characters. The acting's so good. Acting's incredible. Walt there at the end had, like, his green shirt on again, but... I've never noticed him having it like opened up like he did. Like he yeah. had it, like buttoned down to here and like the collar was split more apart and stuff. Like usually it's more up. It's like, oh, he's getting a little more loose. Maybe he's like, you know, the, the villain he's coming out or something. I don't know. So Saul also doesn't need to leave now, right? Saul should be fine because he was leaving because of the fear of Gus. Yeah. yeah. So with Gus dead, he should be fine. Which is good. Because I wanted to keep Saul. So I was afraid he's going to yeah, be gone. I was afraid he was going to be gone too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that Walt had twenty thousand dollars to give that lady. Twenty-five. Yeah, whichever one in the beginning. <laughs> uh, how did he not have Saul's phone number? Well, because he left. Like he took off leaving. He was getting a number to contact him while he's while he's gone. Him, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he got rid of his cell phone and you know, he couldn't call him at the office. He'd always called him at the office. <laughs> well, I wonder before, what right? that conversation was like. How he convinced him. What the hell are you calling me? To like stop running, you know, and come. To the police station. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wonder if he told Saul, like, the whole plan. Like, if Saul knows. Or enough of it to where Saul knew that he would be safe when he came back. <clears throat> well, I mean, he wouldn't have known the whole plan yet. Unless you're talking about, like, Brock and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'd, Brock and... I would say that if that's part of your stuff you don't tell, and you just tell the story you want to be the truth. Yeah. So if the truth that you want to be is that Gus poisoned Brock and now Jesse's angry at Gus and me and Jesse are trying to take out uh, Gus. So if we can do this, you'll be safe. You won't have to run. If you can come back here, though, and help out Jesse, he just got arrested and they just tried to kill me at my house. And we get, I need to get information from Jesse to kill Gus. And then he yeah. came in there, he talked, got the Tranquilo uh, Casa, whatever. Casa right? Tranquilo. Got that one and I don't know, but I love the show. It's really good. I'm excited for the next season to see what happens. This is a hell of a... I'm pretty sure this is the finale. It's episode 13. Yeah. I think. I think it's yeah. the finale. So, <laughs> I know it's episode 13. I think they usually do 13 episode seasons, except season 2 I think was longer. And those are and writer's season, strike season somewhere. season 1 I think was shorter. In I don't there. know. Yeah. I think season 1 might have yeah. had a writer's strike. That's why it was shorter or something. <sighs> anyway, it's been really good. I'm really excited to see more of Breaking Bad. Yes, absolutely. And if you are excited to see more of Breaking Bad, check it out over at patreon.com slash blindwave, where we have full-length and early access reactions. Also, check out our store, where we have merch. Check out our Twitch, where we have streams. That's, that's we nice. wish. We wish. It's all merch. Bye.